Hi guys, Josh from Spartan Reptiles, and I'm here with Bella. Bella, say hi, Bella. Hi. Anyways, uh, it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to make this video. Um, so unfortunately, there's gonna be no snakes in it. Uh, I know you guys wanted to see some, uh, but this is a pretty important subject and matter that's uh, arisen, and it's been going on for quite some time, actually. Um, and it was really brought to light when Brian Barczyk made his cyberbullying video. Um, I did watch that video. I watched that video more than once. And uh, I can tell it does bother him. And, you know, to want to have to admit that you thought about committing suicide is, that's just tragic. And uh, there's no need for it. And, uh, you know, since that video has come out, a lot of other YouTubers, uh, you know, friends of mine have... Uh, made videos on, on that matter. Don't do that, babe. Okay. And uh, I, I don't think bullying is uh, proper or there's a place for it. And uh, I don't think it's right either. And, uh, you know, my big question is, is, I mean, you know, for, you know, I don't know, maybe there's a bully out there that watches my channel. I mean, I don't really care. You can bully me all you want to, it's not gonna matter. Uh, Cause I don't care. But, uh, I mean, I, I'd like to know why it is. Why, why do you bully? Um, is it an insecurity that you have? Are you insecure about yourself? Um, are you unhappy in life? Um, are you jealous? I mean, because I really don't know. I can't answer that question. And uh, I think it's wrong. I think bullying straight up is wrong. Um, there, there's no need in it. Um, I mean, come on, I mean, especially, you know, in our community, you know, we're, we're all adults, and I think we should all act like that. Um, it, it's terrible, and, you know, I, I've i thought about this, and, and what raises concerns to me with all the bullying within the reptile community is the fact that uh, those that are guilty of bullying, and you know who you are, I mean... I don't have to name names. I don't even technically know any names. So, uh, but I see I see bullying in, in all kinds of shapes and different forms on uh, YouTube. I see it on Facebook. I see it on Instagram. And I mean, I've seen breeders bash customers' questions and put screenshots up of, of it. You know, and uh, that's belittling them. And that's that's not right. I mean, because people that want to get into this hat this hobby wanted you know we're all sitting here talking about how fabulous and how wonderful our community is and, and, and it is I mean we got a great community and we got a lot of support within the community and you know that's awesome but we're sitting there telling all these other people that you should get involved you know because it's a great community it's a great thing to be a part of and and the, you know you get you know a customer that asks a question and then the breeder that they ask the question for just bashes them and makes fun of them and, and then post screenshots of their conversation making them look like idiots there's no need in that there's no place for that it's just wrong it's just straight up wrong i mean you could have had a potential sell but you know you act like that do you think they're going to come back they're not going to come back you're going to lose people and, and bullying you're going to lose people you're going to lose friends you're going to lose customers you're going to lose support there's there's consequences for your actions and you know i was raised that if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it. Just don't say nothing at all. I raised my children that way. But the reason why I want to make this video, not to only touch base on, you know, the fact that it's wrong, is the fact of those who are bullying, do you really understand the consequences of doing so? Especially in the reptile community. There's agencies like HSUS, and PETA that don't want us to have our exotic animals. They don't want us to have snakes. They don't want us to have exotic birds. They don't want us to have exotic animals in general. And they watch this and they look at this and they see the hate that's being brought on within the community and it's fuel to their fire. They're going to take things that they see in here and they're going to manipulate it. They're going to twist it and they're going to just tweak it to where they can use it as some form of evidence or proof that 
there's a good reason for them to pursue taking our hobby away from us and infringe on our rights to do so, you know, have these animals. That's the big question. If you really think about it, we've been fighting these agencies since the Lacey Act came out. And I know, you know, with Lacey Act, you know, why they said they, you know, animals are invasive and, and stuff like that. But let me tell you, when that Lacey Act came out, it even affected us here in Montana. In Montana, I can't own a Burmese python. I can't own a reticulated python or any hybrid therefore. There's other pythons that I can't own in the state. There's a lot of lizards I can't own, frogs I can't own. I can't even raise African soft fur rats in Montana because of HSUS and PETA's influence. If you think about it, I mean, there's no, I have nothing against fish and wildlife per se, but I don't agree with their reasonings why they list animals as invasive, especially if they don't have the proof or the knowledge of what it takes for those animals to thrive. All they did was join on a bandwagon. That's all they did. Florida set some rules and, and regulations intact, and it went all the way up the East Coast. And then, that, you know, and then as it went up the East Coast, it spread West. You know, I'm sure if you look at your state local laws and city laws and ordinances, in every one of your states and towns that you live in, you have the invasive animals that you can't have. When I first moved up here in 2010, we actually were able to have red-eared slider turtles, RESs. Within the first year that I lived up here, I had to relinquish my turtle to fish and wildlife because it became an invasive species. And it's not right. So there's kind of a little bit of, you know, my behind story on, you know, why I'm really supporting the fact that this bullying and this hate and this fashion has got to stop. Because with the Lacey Act, that was the beginning. I mean, there were circumstances, you know, hurricanes and other things, natural disasters that helped create the problem in Florida. But there was also the irresponsible keepers. And there was just, I mean, there's so much. So there's a, a list of things that has to do with the Lacey Act. You know, HSUS and PETA have, you know, taken everything that they can and turned it against the reptile community. They can do the same thing with all the hate and the hate bashing. Think about that. Really let it mull over in your head. Roll that over a few times. Think about it for a week. Think about it for two weeks. Because it's true. So my plea to the rest of the reptile community and all those that are bullying, bring it to a stop. We're all grown-ups. Let's act that way. If we don't like another breeder, so be it. It's your choice. It's your decision. But it doesn't give you the right to slander and bash them. And, uh, I mean, if you look up slandering laws, I mean, there's a lot of reptile breeders out there who have no problem with pressing charges against it. And I feel sorry for anybody that has to deal with it. It's not pretty. Ever. And it doesn't work out in your favor. So that being said, my plea to, you, plea to everybody out there is, let's bring this community together. Let's build it up brick by brick and make it strong. Instead of trying to tear it down brick by brick and make it weak. This, this reptile community is capable of so much more. More than anybody realizes. Frank Cusco made a video just not too long ago about talking about his passion to bring this reptile community and make it so much bigger. I share that passion with him. And I agree with him 100%. So think about that. It makes sense. Why tear down a good thing? Why not just make it bigger and better and stronger? And as always from here at Spartan Reptiles, keep on herping. Keep on herping, guys.